What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show, Style, and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, I want to talk with you all about my hunch. Um, with Carlos King watching the upcoming season of Married to Medicine, and we are going to see Quad's ex-husband's fiance turned wife on the show with him, and Quad is going to have to deal with that. I am wondering, will Carlos King be inspired to bring on Arion on Love and Marriage Huntsville, and he will use Married to Medicine as his excuse or his rationale for why he will bring her on. And then I want to go stroll down memory lane as to why I feel like he would be open to such disrespect because we've seen him use Arion to disrespect Melody previously. So y'all, before we dig deep into my hunch, I ask that you all please hit the like button on this video. It will cause YouTube to recommend this video to more people who also enjoy watching Married to Medicine as well as Love and Marriage Huntsville. Also people who definitely support Melody Cherie, they would appreciate the content here on my channel. So when you hit the like button, YouTube will recommend this, people, this video to more like-minded people. So it's definitely impactful. And also, if you have not already done so, please subscribe to show style and spirit. I do offer a variety of content. I do pretty much let you all inside my head when ideas come to me and I create these videos. So definitely, if I if I feel like your people and you think this is a place where you'd like to kick it, definitely subscribe because I would love to have you. So with that being said, let's jump right on in. So earlier today, Dr. Heavenly went live on her YouTube channel and Quad joined her. Now these two always have a great vibe whenever Quad joins Dr. Heavenly's live streams. They have really good rapport. The jokes are always flowing. It's always hilarious. You all have heard me talk about Dr. Heavenly's YouTube channel previously. It's always a good time. So of course, I was catching up on this interview tonight. I took myself out to dinner after work. I was so thrilled that the work week was over and um, I had a couple of drinks and I came home. And of course, I watched the latest um, you know, jail call between Shirley Strawberry and Ernesto. And I think I'm going to make a video about that because that was pretty sad. And then I started checking out this video and Dr. Heavenly asked Quad her thoughts about her ex-husband, Dr. G, who you know is a psychiatrist, coming on the show with his fiance, who then becomes his wife. And Quad was very frank in her feelings. She's always very vivid and when she expresses herself. She's definitely a clear communicator. So let's go right on ahead and jump right on in into what she says. I think Melody would ever leave you. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, y'all. Wrong sound bite. I don't want to go too fast and jump ahead. That was Carlos King. So let's go and get into Quad's thoughts here. Love's quad maturity level with Dr. G's the wife on the show. How do you feel like, I mean, because to me, it's no secret that this is the first time, I believe, tell me if I'm wrong, that we've had a reality TV show show somebody go through a tumultuous marriage, get a divorce, and then bring back the husband and then the new fiance, which turns into his new wife. Right. That's unprecedented. How do you feel about them doing that? Well, I, I honestly, I got to keep it real with you. And, and all the things that you noted and stated have been absolutely true just a moment ago, for sure, in reference to what I've been through and what we see with uh, the ex-husband and the new wife on the show. I feel, um, I feel disrespected. I feel disrespected. And it, it's, uh, you know, though the conversation was never had with me, and I've been a staple on the show since conception. And so, you know, just knowing that it wasn't a pleasant, pleasant marriage and people kind of having some understanding and some insight about what transpired in our marriage. Uh, and to and, 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 and clearly we sat there in New York on the stage with um, with Andy Cohen and we were very authentic and very real and uh, raw. And so things were stated there. And I just feel like 
you know, where was the respect for me when this decision was made? You know, and and I and I know my cast members don't make this decision. Right, we definitely we all don't make the decision. But um, I think it's a messy shit though. I mean, if you want a reality TV show, it's a messy stuff. Had the girl get divorced, bring back the husband. It bring his new wife. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's you know, it. Just, just trying to rub, you know, just trying to rub that in Quad's face. We got to go the motion from Quad and see what we get. You know, we need something for season ten. So let's put Quad out there, put her on the defense, and let's see how she's gonna respond. I love what Kiana Bluefield is saying. Okay, so you heard it right there. As I said, Quad is a clear communicator. She said that she felt disrespected and that the show wanted to pull a response out of Quad. Let's see how she responds by bringing on her ex-husband and his new fiance. And Dr. Heavenly said that it is messy to do something like that. So we all know that production can be messy um, at the expense of trying to get a castmate to really emote, to give a really strong emotion and, you know, kind of drag them through the mud. So we are going to see that on the upcoming season of Married to Medicine. It debuts next month, November 2023, and it will be season 10. So I'm guessing that production, like Quad said, for season 10, let's go all out. So we're going to bring on her ex-husband and his fiance. And I'm sure they didn't mind being on the show just because they could make the money back that they would have put into the wedding ceremony. So it was definitely a win-win for Dr. G and his wife. So um, is it ideal? Absolutely not. Like Dr. Heavenly said, this is unprecedented where you would see that. But now it could give Carlos King some ammo to say, wow, it has been done on a reality TV show. Maybe we could do this on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now it's no longer unprecedented because it has been done before. And he may even try, because I'm sure Quad is going to try and be as gracious, mature, and classy as she can in regards to this. So then Carlos may try to say, well, look, Melody, look how Quad handled it. I know you can. I know you will push through. You know, he'll try to use the positive affirmations that she shares with all of us and try and use that as his ammo to get her to be okay with bringing on coleslaw. You know, and this is just my opinion. And definitely the sound bites that I'm using in this video tonight are allowed according to the Copyright Act of 1976 that says my fair use commentary of these sound bites are allowed for criticism. And also, um, Everything that is said here is alleged and my opinion. I definitely just want to always be clear with that, y'all, because um, these millionaire people, these reality TV stars, they definitely would try to come down on us bloggers for expressing our opinion. And we, you know, the Copyright Act does allow us to give commentary and to repurpose the sound bites. But I just always like to put that out there verbally to speak it and to let them know that I do know, you know, what is allowed. You know, so let's move right on along because you all heard I I was so quick to get into the Carlos sound bite that I pressed play on that a little too soon. But now it's time. So I kind of feel like the season three reunion of Love and Marriage Huntsville is very triggering because of the foolishness that they try to project onto Melody, trying to make Melody insecure and jealous of a woman who would be willing to have an extramarital affair with a married man. There is nothing for Melody to be jealous of. And I feel like in this soundbite that I'm going to play for you all, that is what Carlos King allegedly was trying to do. And he and Martel um, were in on it and playing along. And Melody was very stoic and calm and she sat through it. And I just feel really bad. And it's it's always been very hard to go back and like binge watch and watch this reunion. But I want to just go ahead and play this soundbite and then come back with more of my from the heart commentary. I think Melody would ever leave you? No, I really didn't think that we would end. It's not even that about me cheating. It's not about the, the baby, anything like that. I mean, but through this whole, whole ordeal, you know, 
we would go to church, you know, I mean, I would go to the front, the past to be prayed for. I tried to really just get it out of my system. You know what I'm saying? Because it was, it was real. Because I saw it, it, it was hurting my family. It was hurting, you know, Melody so much. And I knew that wasn't a part of me. Is it the fact that you couldn't stop cheating? Or is it the fact that you could not stop cheating with this other woman? It, it was it was with her. Like, if it was anybody else, if I had to have cheated, it would have been just sex and that would have been it. But it was just the the connection that we had. That kind of was it a sexual in. connection or a personal connection? It was, it was a personal connection. And then, you know, things transpired. A lot of people think you're addicted to sex, and I don't think you're a sex oh, addict. Oh, yeah. I'm and listen, I'm going to be real. And, and, and listen, I'm just being honest. When I learned that you left the house during the pandemic to continue to see her, that to me displayed that there is something drawing you back to this woman. Yeah. So when people call her calls law side chick, I think she's a whole damn restaurant. Yeah. I think you visit her during opening hours, after hours. She's the dessert. She's the entree. She's, I think she's everything to you. And I think you try to diminish her by calling her a peasant because you did not want to accept the reality that you, you love this woman. So my question seriously is, if you would have met her before Melody, do you think you and this woman would be married? Did y'all hear all of that foolishness, all that cap? He was capping because we all know it was his idea for Martell and Sheree to fake date. So if they are in a so-called relationship, how can Martell have had a personal connection with Arion if he's out here fake dating Sheree? I thought they were supposed to be together. Oh, but it was a personal connection that he had with her. Stop it. You're just trying to make the star of this show that is your bread and butter jealous and insecure. You wanted her to hurt while she was listening to that foolishness. And Martel was answering his questions accordingly. Oh, it was a personal connection. If it was anyone else, it would have just been S-E-X. But because it was her, you know, I couldn't go back. Stop it. You, he wasn't diminishing her on camera to try and hide the fact that he was in love. No, he told Dr. Francis that she was a peasant. And when Dr. Francis asked him, what do you mean by that? Martel said, low class. I'm sorry, but anyone that you have a personal connection with that you just can't stop being around, you wouldn't call them a peasant. You for damn sure would not call them low class. That means you shamed of her and it's just physical. So it's one thing to play in all of our faces, but it's another thing just to try and be downright mean and try to make Melody's feelings be hurt. And I always felt like this reunion was what that was about. In fact, it's such an awkward scene because there was absolutely no reason for Tisha, Marceau, Maurice, and Kimmy to even be on that stage during this segment. It literally, um, if you go back and watch part one of the season three reunion, um, Melody and Martell, they take up like the last 20 minutes of part one. There was no need for the rest of the cast to even be on the stage. Carlos totally ignored them during this conversation because it was all about trying to make Melody feel bad. So y'all, um, I hope that we do not see Ariane on the show. You know, I feel like the world that we live in, it already caters to um, bullies, people who have millions and millions of dollars where they can hire lawyers to intimidate you or muscle people, you know, to put in that work, if you know what I mean. We already live in a world that supports and promotes and idolizes mean, bad behavior. I don't want to see Ariane on Love and Mayor Chunsville like it's promoting and uplifting you know, being a homewrecker and being um, just, you know, a slut with a married man, allegedly, and in my opinion, you know, and then that's why us good women have such a hard time because these ninjas think that we're going to be, you know, just as easy, just as cheap, you know, because of all the coleslaws out there and the pickles and the side of fries. Okay, so I don't want to see her on the show. 
I'm just concerned that because of what the foolery we're going to see on Married to Medicine, Carlos may try to use that as his excuse to bring that foolishness on the show. But you all know that I love hearing from you all in the comments. Let me know what you think about this upcoming season of Married to Medicine. You know Carlos watches it. You know he says that's the best show on Bravo. And um, we'll have to see. I'm going to definitely uh, check out his reviews of Married to Medicine so that when they show Dr. G and the fiance, what kind of foolishness CK will be talking about. Um, please hit the like button on this video. Again, it really helps me out. It's a free way of supporting the channel. And please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. We are going to have a fantastic weekend. It is going to be awesome. I don't think I'm seeing a movie this weekend because there's like three, four scary movies at the theater. And so, um, yeah, I get the message. I ain't going to be there. I think I'm going to kick it at the cider mill, though. And y'all let me know what you're doing for the weekend. I will talk to you soon. Bye.